Wall Street Journal reporters discuss Vince McMahon hush money story reporting. Jordan Grace launches CTE fundraiser following controversial Chris Benoit tweet. WWE touts economic impact of WrestleMania 38. Hey there everyone, it's Denise Salcedo. Happy Monday. Let's get the week started with some news here today on the latest. Kicking things off with an update on Vince McMahon and the reporters from the Wall Street Journal talking about their story. Take a look. For the first time since their two stories on Vince McMahon's alleged hush packs were released, the Wall Street Journal's Joe Palazzolo and Ted Mann talked about the reporting on the WWE chairman and that there may be more to come. Speaking to Busted Open Radio Monday, Palazzolo and Mann said they were working on the story in April when they first heard about the initial special committee investigation regarding an alleged $3 million hush pack McMahon had with a former subordinate. Mann added that even though the company said McMahon's relationship was consensual, they started hearing about other issues that were not. He said that power dynamics were doing something you don't want to do but feel you have to because you want to keep your job can be dangerous for other subordinates and that public companies have taken stances against not allowing these actions to be swept under the rug. When asked what information surprised them in their investigation, Mann said that the $7.5 million payout to a former wrestler was fairly eye-popping. He said, That's a figure in the murky world of NDAs that clearly suggests a big secret being kept. That was one of the red flags that signaled to us that we needed to get to the bottom of what it was and what that was for. When asked why their second report hasn't broken bigger in terms of mainstream media outlets, they weren't sure. They said they heard a lot of, look at the character he plays, and this shouldn't be a surprise, following their stories. They said with relation to WWE's various business partners, this story can't be something they aren't paying attention to. Anyone doing business with the company is paying attention. When asked if they expect more allegations to emerge, Palazzolo said it's probably not done yet, as they are continuing to report on the story. They don't have anything in their back pocket in terms of allegations and nothing they have heard that was larger than the $7.5 million payout. Impact Wrestling Knockouts champion Jordan Grace is doing her best to make something positive from a negative situation. After drawing criticism for a tweet she made about Chris Benoit last week, Jordan Grace issued a statement on Monday announcing that she's launching a fundraiser to benefit the Concussion Legacy Foundation. The fundraiser will serve to push forward the research and education of CTE. The fundraiser has a goal of $20,000 with Grace donating $5,000 of her own money to begin the campaign. Grace launched the fundraiser after speaking privately to friends and family of Benoit's that she angered or hurt, including Benoit's son David and Benoit's friends Chris Jericho and Chavo Guerrero. In her statement, she wrote, Last week, I made an irresponsible and unnecessary tweet. Regardless of how my personal emotions influence my opinion, I should have recognized the impact my words have on friends and family close to the situation. I was completely thoughtless in that regard. Since reflecting this past week, I've reached out privately to friends and family that I angered or hurt. Among those was David Benoit, Chavo Guerrero, and Chris Jericho, who are supporting me in the decision to partner and fundraise with the Concussion Legacy Foundation formerly Sports Legacy Institute. I have pledged $5,000 with the overall campaign goal being $20,000. I'm acutely aware that the damage has been done. I would never intentionally add on to the suffering of those already dealing with such a traumatic event. And I'm sorry for my insensitivity and aggravating this already delicate topic. This is my way of attempting to squeeze something positive out of the negative situation I created. Thank you in advance to everyone who donates. In response to a tweet about wrestlers who still praise Benoit in a professional context despite his heinous actions, Grace wrote on July 6th, This is going to be the coldest take I ever tweet on this app. I already know y'all going to be mad. I don't think Benoit could 100% hang with most of the present day wrestlers. He would not be able to remember matches. Also, may he burn in hell. Amen. Chavo then wrote to Jordan saying, I think Jordan Grace just lost a lot of wrestling credibility from some of her comments. Last month marked 15 years since the Benoit double murder and suicide, 
where Benoit murdered his wife, Nancy, and seven-year-old son, Daniel, before killing himself. WWE and the Dallas Arlington region are touting the economic impact that WrestleMania 38 brought to Texas. In a press release that was issued by WWE on Monday, it was announced that WrestleMania 38 generated $206.5 million in economic impact for the Dallas Arlington region this April. WWE wrote that this marks a new company record and the first time in history that WrestleMania generated more than $200 million in economic impact. This was the first time that a two-night WrestleMania was held with a full-capacity crowd. The economic impact study was conducted by Enigma Research Corporation. The study notes that 206.5 million indirect, indirect, and induced impact derived from spending by visitors of the Dallas Arlington region for WrestleMania. 67% of fans that attended WrestleMania were from outside of the Dallas Arlington region and stayed an average of 3.5 nights. 25.4 million was spent on hotels and accommodations within the Dallas Arlington region. The economic impact derived from WrestleMania week was equal to the creation of 1,777 full-time jobs for the area. Well, that was your quick roundup of news for today. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and let me know. Hit me up on Twitter and or on Instagram at underscore Denise Salcedo if you would like to chat more wrestling. On top of that, do not forget to subscribe to F4W Online. We are so close here on YouTube to 100,000 subscribers. So make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. See you guys next time. And before you go, make sure to check out some of our other additional content.